Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in with me for your weekend message. This is for Saturday and Sunday, June 8th and June 9th. Um, of course, it can go farther out. For some of you, this could have already happened, but please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message not a personal but if you would like a personal you could definitely book one with me um my booking information booking site is listed in the description of this video along with so much more um i also uh i'm also in a psychic site so you could definitely tune in there all uh, information listed in the description um i am a psychic medium so I don't use any cards or any tools when I do personal readings or when I read publicly and live readings um, so if you want to tune in with me on Mondays you could definitely do that I will be starting that back this Monday but um, I've been doing it never stop and I've been doing it in patreon so if you want to tune in over there for any extended readings things like that you could definitely do that or daily messages or just to get extra Q&A's with me for um, my psychic abilities um, also medium readings just um, and that just mean that I am able to uh, connect with deceased loved ones so if you want to speak to a loved one that has passed over I can definitely um, do that uh, yeah so let's jump into this weekend message starting with Aries and we're gonna end in Pisces all right so Aries and I will timestamp it in a description I mean, not in the description, in the comments. All right, Aries, we have death. So you you could be going, you could be transforming. Maybe you you're you're uh you're going through a, a breakthrough or something. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Dang, major arcanas. Okay, death and the star. It's like someone is, is, um, it's like hoping and wishing for a new beginning. A new beginning after an ending. Maybe something, you're transforming something in your life. And you're wishing for something to change, something to come, yeah. There's definitely some type of change here. So this weekend, it looked like um, you could be a little burden here. Someone could be in a transition of moving, um, or the or thinking about moving. Maybe moving jobs or relocating. Uh, closer to a job is something something is trying or if you're not thinking this this is what you're being guided because there's definitely a major transformation here um, for some of you this could be like just changing jobs or doing something differently within a job because something is becoming real heavy on you and it's like you're wishing for a better outcome um, a better opportunity but you have so many options so many choices It's like you're trying to decide on what which option you should take, which 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 route you should go. Like they're wanting you to keep hope alive here due to this uh, transformation. For some of you, it can be a drastic transformation. It could be an ending, and it's like, okay, where do I go from here? They're wanting you to have faith. They want you to have hope. You know. And know that this transformation, this this ending is bringing in a new beginning for you. So just look at look at your situation in a positive way. Um, maybe you're working over the weekend. It's something pertaining to work, okay? Or there's um, something that you're trying to do. You want to uh, get done over the weekend. Work on it get it done so you could be complete like maybe for some of you it could be as simple as dang i just want to finish this before the weekend is over so you could you know start on a new project by the beginning of the week or something 
Um, it could be something as simple as that. But it's like, okay, I got to get through this. I want to get through. So you're wishing for this to f be finalized. But it's like, it's a lot that you feel like you have to do. Um, you can do it. And you will do it. All right. Let's move on to Taurus. We can message Taurus. Spirit, please show us a message for Taurus. 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 Weekend message for June 8th, June 9th. Dang. That is not what we're doing. All right, Taurus. What is the message for Taurus there? Please show us. All right, Taurus. What else for Taurus? Taurus. Okay. It looked like you're uh, you're manifesting a plan to go through, like to you you're hoping the plans work out you're hoping that you can you know move forward with something you want something to be uh you want something to be a victory you want something to be good so whatever this is that you're manifesting continue with this plan it looks like it's going to be a success maybe this could be you traveling this could be you just going somewhere or you have plans for the weekend it looked good go for it um, this energy could be surrounding a Gemini or a Virgo, or you have these placements, or someone do, but, um, it looks like you already, you gain clarity about something, it's like a sure thing, this is like a sure thing, like I know what I want to do, and I, I just need to make plans for it, so that's what they're wanting you to do, just make plans and go for it, okay? Gemini. Gemini, weekend message. Please show us a message for Gemini. What is the message for Gemini? Uh, June 8th and June 9th. Gemini, please show us a message. Gemini. Gemini. It's like you're committed to something and you feel like you're you're not getting enough. It's like I'm giving my all but I'm only getting a little bag. It's like you feel in lack here due to something that you made a commitment towards. This could be your money, a job. This could be a relationship. Some type of commitment. You feel in lack with this. Whatever this is pertaining to you is different for everyone. But, um, so what do you advise, uh, Gemini? Mm. If you continue to be in whatever this is, this lack, this lack mentality, this could be like, I don't have enough. Instead of, I don't have enough, I do have enough and I will get more. And that's just going to push you to get more because otherwise you're going to be in this miserable, uh, state like it, it seemed like you're going to be sad and regretful of, of taking this chance or even dealing with this job or dealing with this person or whatever this is it's like they're wanting you to change your mind in a more positive positive way quick fast in a hurry gemini that's your energy we also have taurus energy here someone could have lost a job some type of income as well and this is causing sadness regret or um, lost a source of money. Okay, but like I said, they're wanting you to change your, your thoughts. Your thoughts to positivity. Be more positive about this situation. Um, moving on to cancer. Cancer weekend message. Show us a message for cancer. 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 What is Cancer message for this weekend, June 8th and June 9th? Oh. Whatever boundary someone set, it is working. 
all right whatever boundary someone said protecting themselves keeping themselves from um i guess certain people that could have betrayed you or you know or this is how someone is feeling towards you take it however but someone is definitely um having victory over their protection over their boundaries um there could have been a lot of betrayal and that caused you to be in a seven of wands energy but it's bringing you victory and success also someone is receiving um recognition job well done like whatever it is that you do and it's because you're releasing negative people out of your life or out of your energy okay um a gemini could have betrayed you in some type of way or a fire sign aries leo sagittarius yeah someone may want like i don't know someone may want to cause an argument conflict with you at this time continue to set boundaries that's what they're wanting you to do this weekend maybe someone trying to reach out and start an argument like just hold back yes four of pentacles hold back from whoever this is all right leo weekend message for leo 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 all right leo you have the emperor and the will of fortune okay leo i feel like you're taking back control of your life or this is what they're advising you over the weekend like um you know sit in your power stand in your power um as this emperor you know this is like a leadership role this is someone who is in their boss mentality um this could be you stepping into uh entrepreneurship or whatnot there that could be the change within you but i feel like the change within you is you taking back control over a situation maybe this weekend you're like no this is how it's gonna be okay or this is what is needing i mean this is what's needed show us one more yes yes take a chance make this change um if not it looked like you're gonna be stuck and this could be stuck mentally constantly thinking about like dang i should have did that or i should have did this or whatever the heck yeah they're telling you to take take action or whatever this changes due to it's not so much of whatever this changes this change is definitely pertaining to you taking back control of a situation of your life okay so i don't know something big could be this weekend and you like no i got it i'm i'm i got this okay so uh that could be your advice at this time um yeah play chess not checkers <laughs> so think before you act think before you speak whatever this is uh that you're about to take a leap of faith into i feel like you know you you thought it out well enough and now you're ready to just take this leap i don't feel like this is a leap due to you not thinking about it just running into something like no i feel like due to the emperor being here you're definitely um you definitely thought a plan out you already strategized something whatever this is and now you're ready to be in this leadership role you're ready to take this leap all right show us a message for uh virgo weekend master spirit virgo virgo what is the message for Virgo for June 8th and June 9th? Virgo. We have the Queen of Wands. Virgo. What else for Virgo? And the Emperor. Wow. Step on up then. Alright, Virgo. It looks like you're doing a hell of a good job. It looks like you're standing in confidence. You're standing in power. Okay. It looked like you're you're gaining back your power. You're gaining back your confidence. Or this weekend, I don't know what you're doing. You stepping out? Something. Show us one more for Virgo. Someone could be dealing with the Aries. Um. Hmm. You could be finding out that an aries feminine could have betrayed you or a fire sign female okay
page I can have, but I'm getting Aries. But you could be finding out, you're like, hmm, oh, that's why this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they betrayed the hell out of you. Mm -hmm. They did. And they did, Ace of Swords. Yes, you gained that clarity, though. You was confused at first, or they had you in this illusion to make you feel like or think otherwise. But they were, I just heard the catalyst. Okay. Yeah, you got um, someone that, dang, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Speak it, spirit. Yeah. Don't trust this person, whoever they are. This fem feminine, this female, it's a female, but they could be masculine or they just, you know, maybe they have like a lot of masculine within them, but they could be a female, you know, but I don't know. Or they just have control. They like to control and manipulate. So they could have been trying to manipulate you, have you thinking one thing, but it's another. They was, that was, you were under an illusion or this person was trying to pretend like they were a friend, but they were betraying you all along and you're gaining clarity though of who this snake is. And it's someone that you've known since you were a child or from the past. Like, you could have been really young. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. someone may love dogs or have a dog. Or maybe you have that in common. You both have dogs or something. I don't know. Whoever this is, they're shady. Don't trust them. Moving on. To uh, the Virgo. Uh, Libra. Libra weekend message. What is the message for Libra? Come on, cards. Libra. Libra. What is Libra message this weekend? We got the okay. The emperor just coming out for y'all readings. All right, Libra, you could be dealing with the Aries. Maybe you and the Aries could be taking flight, taking a trip, or this could be a, your your masculine, your divine masculine, possibly. Show us more on the um, Emperor. Or you could be receiving a lot of messages from this person. Yeah. It's like they're reaching out. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Whoever this is that's reaching out, or you may have seen some messages of, of what this person said or did. Or a fire sign. Maybe a child could have betrayed the father. It's a father. Mm -hmm. Someone feel like someone may have an unruly child or disrespectful child or something like that. Someone feel betrayed. Someone feel, uh, or this is, uh, or this is, if this is not like a child, this could definitely be like someone you are in a relationship with or something. And someone could be, like, real childish when they get upset and say some real cruel things. But I feel like someone could be trying to come back in, though. But it's like, nah, I'm, I'm about tired of all the, all the betrayal. I'm tired. This is you. Like, I'm tired. I don't, I'm tired of that. Or someone, this could be a parent saying, I'm tired of the, the, the disrespect. And I'm, I don't want to deal with it no more. Yeah, so someone is releasing themselves. Maybe it was, you know, they were stuck or you were stuck by uh, continuing to deal with this. Going through betrayal after betrayal after betrayal after betrayal. But with this Eight of Swords in reverse, I feel like this weekend you're releasing yourself from toxicity from certain people or this person. Okay, whoever this person is. It could be an Aries. It could be a... Um, or someone with Aries placement, or this could be a father, father figure, baby father, uh, however, okay? Or this is a father and a child, and a father is fed up with this child. Take it however it resonates, okay? It's not for everybody. Moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, we can message spirit. Please show us a message for Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. What's up, Scorpio? How you doing, Scorpio? I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. Alright, Scorpio. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Show us more for Scorpio this weekend. Message. What else? Page of Wands. Huh. It's like someone is slow to message you, but they want to. Because they want to reunite with you. They want to come back together. 
some of want to get you pregnant. For some, for some of you, if you're not even thinking about children or you you passed that stage, you're not having children anymore, this is just someone who view you as an empress. Someone that, you know, all the queens in the deck, or this could be an emperor. It could just be the energy. Like, you are everything that this person want, basically. Show us more on this empress and the uh, three of cups. Yeah, someone want to recover a connection with you, but it's, it's a slow approach. It's like someone either slow to message you or you're slow to message this person, but all along this is what they're wanting. They're wanting a message or you want to message or you're wanting them to message. However, it's like someone is stressed out. Like, they could be scared. Uh-uh. This person could be scared to message you. Why? It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be just someone who deep in their feelings for you. They want to communicate. They want to talk to you. They want to work on this with you. For some of you, this could be a past lover. This could be just someone that just want to talk to you again. They want to work on things. They see you're happy. They see, or they see something where, I don't know, it's some fear though. And this is why they're taking so long to reach out to you. Yeah. They see you as this, the Queen of Wands. They're like, wait a minute. Mm. Also, someone is uh, fearful due to their current situation. Like, they're fearful to reach out to you due to the current situation that they're in. This could be uh, pertaining to work or someone that is very... Um, mm -hmm. Someone in this person energy could be very like cold or like um I'm getting like controlling or rude or something like that, but someone is wanting to reach out to you. They feel like uh, I don't know, they feel like maybe you're gonna get away. Someone is feeling in regret due to a choice, something that they have chosen in the past or how they went about something. Yeah. They want you to let down your guard. Uh, they, they're hoping that, you know, you don't have... Uh, they're hoping that you're open to whatever they have to say or whatever they want to do. Like, they're hoping you're more open to it. They don't want you to be all guarded and shielded from them. They, wanna, they want you to be open with them. First of all, this person just needs to communicate. Because how how you going to... They think it too much. They all up in their head, nine of swords. Yeah, they confuse. Like, when should I reach out to Scorpio? Or, um, how should I go about this situation? Yeah. Someone may be at a distance from you. Could be traveling or, um, may have to travel. Could be car, plane, however. But, there's some traveling involved. Yeah, they want to reconnect. Someone is wanting to come back together. Come back together or just see you again. Be with you again. All right? Or this is you, Scorpio. You're wanting this. Reach out, okay? Page of Wands. It could be a younger uh, fire sign, or you could have fire in your chart, or have a. But someone is wanting to message you, okay? Or you're wanting to message someone. Take a chance. Moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius weekend message. Sagittarius weekend message spirit please show us Sagittarius okay what the heck you got the sun in reverse someone like it's too hot let me get out of the hot I need some air some AC what's going on <laughs> all right so maybe you're going to be out this weekend in the sun you want to get out of the sun you want some shade that's what it looked like for some of you um, for some of you, you, you're, you could be healing from some type of betrayal, hurt. Um, it could have been some communication that whether you said or someone said to you that didn't make you happy, that may have rubbed you the wrong way or vice versa. But there's definitely some unhappiness. Someone is not happy due to communication with someone or, like I said, with what someone have said. Yeah, ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Show us, um, more or Sagittarius yeah there's an ending but someone don't want something to end we have the death in reverse someone is wanting someone to communicate with them whether you want this person to communicate with you or or you 
or um, they want you to communicate to them with them yeah we have the ace of swords someone is like no i don't want this to be over i want to talk i want to i'm not happy without you basically so i can't really say expect communication i'm not seeing it come in but it do look like that's what they're striving for they're wanting this so it may not be exactly this weekend someone could reach out like very soon though for some communication coming in regardless whether it's this weekend or soon um with this little bit, not that much detail on when, but it will be communication for sure. It's not blocked. It's just someone just may not be communicating. <laughs> like, I don't know. But someone don't want it to be over. Moving on to uh, Capricorn. Capricorn. Weekend message there. Please show us a message for Capricorn. We have the King of Wands in reverse. What else for Capricorn? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's thinking here. Yes, yeah, think. Because this person, uh uh. Not the King of Wands in reverse coming out with the King of Swords. Who is this? Cold hearted, blooded. Cold blooded, cold hearted. Negative. Over controlling. Person. Whoever this is, oh Lord, oh Lord. It's like, it's like this person may go through a lot of jealousy or rage. Like, I don't know. It's, and, but yet they want to communicate with you. Mm -mm. Yeah, spirit like, no. Just keep moving on. Move forward. Don't look back. Don't you dare. Don't take that call. Don't respond to that text. Don't you do it. All right. I'm just warning you, letting you know. Not yes, end it. Death at the bottom of the deck. End it. Transform this situation so you don't have to keep dealing with this. Mm. Whoever this is. It's time to let it go. Moving on. Because they mean. They rude. They could be rude. It's crazy because, yeah, it's like. They like to they like control and controlling a Capricorn mm, that's not going too well I don't know but yeah so that's that could be bringing a beast out of this person because they are losing control so due to them lacking that that could be why they're wanting to communicate with you so they can you know just get back in so they can have that control again all right moving on to Aquarius weekend message spirit. Please show us a message for Aquarius uh, June 8th and June 9th. Aquarius. 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 Three of Cups. Aquarius. Six of Cups. All right, someone for someone want to come back and they want to see you. They want to go on a date. Someone may be reaching out to you this weekend, like, hey, you know, I miss you. I want to see you. This could be a past lover. This could be a past friend. This could be a family member. Whoever this is, whoever this is, they they love you. Show us more. Oop. <laughs> but you could have set boundaries with this person. You could have blocked this person. They want to return though. So they could be returning like, hey, let's go out to eat. You know, let me take you out to eat or whatever. If this is not a lover, like I said, this could be whoever. This is, no, this is either a friend or a lover. Yes, it's a friend or a lover. And I have the Ace of Cups that fell on the floor. Ace of Cups, <laughs> they want this again. They want new love with you. For some of you, they want to reunite with you. And they may, in order to reunite with you, they may have to set boundaries with someone from their past. Okay? That could be what, what the issue is. So, for whoever is going through that, they have to release someone from their past or set boundaries with whoever this is in order to have anything with you. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, they may be walking away from a situation in order to renew things with you. They know what they have to do. So, or this is you. You know what you have to do. Yeah, in order to move on to peace and common waters, you got to walk away from something that's no longer serving you with the Eight of Cups. To have this renewal with this person. To have this new beginning for this person with you. Take it however. Yes, yeah, someone must free themselves. Okay. So, yeah. Someone may have to, you know, release their past, past person, past situation. Whatever got in the way of them moving forward with you. They have to clear that up in order for that wall to come down with you whether you put up put up that wall or spirit did <laughs> your ancestors like look you can't come near her or you can't come near him however this is but uh yeah that strength there <laughs> like no nah, yeah strong arm all right but uh that's your message this weekend moving on to pisces pisces weekend message what is this spirit please show us a message for pisces pisces Pisces, Pisces, what is it, Spirit? Please show us. Nine of Wands, and what else? The Devil, what else? The Star. All right, so someone is obsessing over having, like, yeah, returning. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, changing a cycle with you. Maybe it was an ending. Um, someone is wanting to transform this with you. It could be a Scorpio, it could be a Sagittarius, it could be a Capricorn, Aquarius. Whoever, whichever, uh, it looked like you have set boundaries with this person. You stood your ground with whoever this is. But they're obsessing over having another chance with you. They're hoping, praying, wishing. Okay? Yeah, you got someone obsessing over coming back, returning to you. Or you to them. Star. Yeah, that's someone's plan. Their plan is, no, I, I want to return back to Pisces or Pisces. I want to return back to whoever, the sunshine. Whoever makes you happy or someone that you, you know, or vice versa. They, You make them happy or they make you happy. Someone is making plans to come towards you or you towards them. It's like they can't get it off their mind. They can't. They're obsessing over it. So that's your weekend message. Take it however it resonates. And leave whatever don't. Everything is not for everyone. Every message is not for everyone. Look at all your zodiac signs that's in your chart. Uh, especially your main ones. Your sun, of course. Look into your rising. Your moon. Your Venus. Um, and just see which message is your message at this time. But... Until next time, y'all, I wish y'all many blessings. Have a wonderful weekend.